What's up guys, welcome to another video. And as you can see, we've got a very busy table here, review table today on the cutting board, or on the chopping block, however you want to pronounce it or call it. Call it. Uh, and we are looking at some products from Quadlock. And um, these are actually very useful products um, that uh, I think you'll actually be very, very interested in. So that's what we'll bring you this video showcasing some of Quadlock's awesome products. Okay, so we've got cases <clears throat> to make this happen. This happens to be for the iPhone 12 Pro Max and also have one for the iPhone 11. So just check their website, look for your model of phone and see if they are supporting that model. And uh, I don't ever want to really put that in the video because this video can change, you might watch it. Uh, five months from now and I'm telling you hey they don't support like um, you know a Samsung device or something like that and they really do so I'm gonna say check the links go to their website and check them out I do want to say that Quadlock did provide these items to the show for review but this is an unbiased review these are my opinions and no one has reviewed this video prior to these publication of this so uh, let's dive right in and take a quick look now I do actually have a 12 Pro Max iPhone, so I'm going to put the 11 Pro Max case aside and we are going to focus on the 12 Pro Max case. So let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open, take a look at the actual case and what makes this magic happen. Now there are a couple other competitors out there that have similar setups um, with their cases, but Quadlock is unique. Uh, I, I really kind of like their approach more than <clears throat> any of the other ones out there. Um, and these guys are kind of new at it, so I think they've looked at some of the issues with the previous models of things that do this, and they've, they've really integrated it nicely into their setup here. So let's go ahead. The case is just a nice, it's got a nice uh, kind of like a microfiber interior. Otherwise, it's just kind of a hard TPU plastic Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put the iPhone 12 Pro Max in the case and take a look at what we get. There you go, quad lock. Very nice protection. It does put a little bump right here, so it uh, doesn't sit, well, I guess it sits pretty, pretty flat, but it does have a little raise there. If you can see it on the camera angles, not bad. Definitely protection for your lenses, definitely enough bezel on the front where you can drop and no problems with the screen, so we're good to go. So the first thing we're gonna look at, now I think these two items actually look the same, so we're gonna put those together. Those are your uh, charging pads, basically. So we also have the car mount and a desk mount. So we're going to probably say one's going to go there, one's going to go there. But let's take a look at the phone ring stand. So this is kind of like, um, oh, your pop socket fans out there and all the competitors to the pop sockets of the world that came out after pop sockets. Um, and there's been a bunch of them and we featured several on the show here. So let's go ahead and take a look at how quad lock does theirs. One case, multiple mounts. You got ride, drive, moto, life, and run. There's life, run, all that. So uh, if you like it, put a ring on it. They're in it. In it. Uh, that's pretty cool. And if you don't get that uh, uh, interpretation, then go watch, uh, I believe it's, uh, is it Beyonce? There's a J-Lo. I don't remember which one um, put a ring on it, you know. Okay, so here we go. We've got a little quad lock uh, ring. It has a little uh, carabiner type here. So let's go ahead and install this. Now, they have a nice little system where you basically put it in there like so. And then when we open this up, now we've got kickstand and we can do it at multiple angles. We gotta lock that in place. We got that. 
Maybe we can even do it a little bit flatter. We'll do that. That's much flatter. A little more angle there. So we're adjusting the angle of our phone <clears throat> with our ring on the back. And then it just tucks in and you're good to go. So there is the little ring. Now also, what's cool about this, if you're holding your phone, you can put your finger through it. You can definitely get uh, a little more support. If you're afraid of dropping it, boom, I'll put a ring on it. Look at that. She says, will you? Say I do with this. There you go. Wrong finger, right? So anyway, there's the quad lock um, ring. Phone ring stand. Dual purpose. Not only can you use it as a kickstand, but definitely put your finger in it and use it for some more support. And this is this is made out of like aluminum. This isn't chintzy plastic or anything like that. That's a nice high quality uh, ring. So you can trust it. It's not going to break. It's it's very very good quality there. Uh, not exactly certain what the carabiner is in here for, uh, except that you know uh, comes with mini carabiner for your key ring. So you can actually uh, I don't know if I'd want to put this for my key ring, but if you wanted to use your carabiner some way somehow and attach this to something, you could do that. There you go. I don't know if you want to like put it on your belt buckle or whatever, but they do give you this little carabiner to use with the ring however you want to do it. Alright, so let's look at the next item. So this is the wireless charging head, right? Pull tab to open. I love that they've just got like a little pull tab. Uh, good packaging. This is Qi certified, secure, attach, detach, strong. So, you definitely got and this is, this is not, this is quality gear. This is definitely nice. So here you've got your little screw that you put in here. Um, it's going to get you got your little mount type. Now, bad thing is you'll have to take your ring out if you want to use this. Because this is definitely going to go where the ring is at. You've got some cabling in here. And that's really it. And a little instruction booklet. So, next thing you'll do is you would mount this on say like your car mount. Let's look at the desk mount first, okay? So this is uh, the desk mount secure, super secure mounting, attach, detach in seconds, it's strong and it's adjustable range of versatile motion mounting positions of 360 degrees uh, so it's a twist, lock and go setup. So let's go ahead and pop this guy open and by adding the the charge ring to it though, now this becomes a charge desk mount. So when you plug it in or you mount your phone to it, it's going to charge your phone wirelessly. The beauty, right? And this is again, quality product. Nice metal stand. We can get it out of its bag. here it's metal it's hitting my ring and then there we go so let's just unscrew this yoda 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 long screw there we go so this is how you can replace as we'll take that piece out now again you have to purchase the the, the charge piece separately so we're going to push the charge piece in, as you can see. Now we're giving this stand the ability. We're still keeping the 360 degree motion, but we're going to put this wireless charge head on our desk stand, our desk mount. Maybe if I can do this. I'm going to, I'm going to take it off camera because it's crooked with the, me doing it at an angle. All right. And now we have a wireless charge stand. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, it is beautiful. And what we would do, so let's go ahead and take our ring out. See? Twist and look and go. So now we're going to put the phone 
in here, and boom, our phone is now mounted just like that. Beautiful, look at that. Now, if we plug this in, so if we take the included cable, and we plug this into a power bank, if I can find my power bank, so we're going to find where we plug it in, so right, right nope, it's under the bottom, so let's turn it a little bit, see, we can just turn it, we can plug this in, it's type C, another bonus, again it's got 360 degree turn, then we can stick this, they've thought of everything, so if you don't want this cable in the way, you stick the cable through the stand, very very nice, probably should have done this with the phone turned, there we go. So we're going to just stick that cable through the stand, pull it through for some cable management, and that way we don't have all this cable like hanging around, right? So we'll just do that. And then what we're going to do is pause the video so I can find my power bank here. So we'll simulate power with the power bank and you'll see how this will wirelessly charge your device. All right, we'll be right back. All right, welcome back guys. We've got one of my favorite chargers out. This is the MyCharge uh, like Power Hub or something like that, Hub Plus. Uh, so what we're gonna do, this guy, eh, let's push, he's got about 50% charge. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use his built-in Type A port here. We're just gonna plug him in. And now, let's see, we've got light, and then we've got green, and we got charge. Look at that! We are now wirelessly charging with our stand, and again, we can turn this bad boy just about any which way we want. Again, angle-wise, 360 degrees, this thing is awesome. Okay? Now, again, all we did was we took off the non-charging piece, and we added the charge head. And we're going to do the exact same thing with the car mount. So, you want to put your phone somewhere in your car. And uh, here you go. This is the car mount. One case, multiple mounts. Again, ride, moto, drive, run, life. And this one here is windshield or dashboard mountable. Strong, rigid polycarbonate body. Adjustable gimbal head. No residue. Gel suction cup. Doesn't lose suction. Will adhere to more uneven surfaces. Compatible with all quad lock cases and quad lock universal adapters and upgrade your car mount with a quad lock wireless charging head, which is what we're going to do. Again, we're just throwing a little pull open. We're gonna pull out the little charge. A little there we go. Got some instructions on how to mount. Got a little alcohol pad to clean. And we got the little baggie this out of the baggie. There we go. All right. And this does look like it's going to hold really, really well. So again, we've got the non-wireless charging head that we would have to unscrew. And then we've got the actual uh, mounting piece here. Again, it's got a little bit of gel. It's a sticky. Uh, and then it also has a little turn it tight. So you're going to actually get it in there and make sure that it's not going to cause any problems. Again, this is a dash and a windshield. So if you want to do it on your dash, you could use this little sticky thing uh, and put this on your dash um, and then uh, mount it up. So we'll take this out into the vehicle and again we will put on our wireless charging head. We'll plug it into the USB port in the car. Then when I mount my phone out into the vehicle it will charge and I'll have it available to play music, GPS, you know, for, for coordinates, maps, whatever, uh, and go from there. So really cool setup. Let's get this mounted in the car, and we'll come right back. All right, guys. Got it all set up here. As you can see here, I've got the USB plugged in down here and a little wire running up to uh, the dash windshield mount. This thing is tight. It's not going to go anywhere. Got the phone mounted. Uh, it is charging. Um, let's see if I can get that to come up. We'll just lock the screen. And then you can see right there. Hopefully. Charging. It's green. So, 
Uh, very, very cool. Again, you can put this in about any angle you want. Um, and then to remove it, it's just like that. You just simply unlock and go. And then there's your quad lock uh, wireless charge head, again with the cable coming out. And again, you can position this however you want. Uh, if I want it like this, I just remount it in here like so. You can see it's already getting the charge. I'm trying to do this left-handed. And then I can have my phone like that. Listening to podcasts or uh, at this time it's listening to uh, Carefree Feeling Telemusic Smooth Jazz on Spotify. So, <clears throat> um, you know, listen to audiobooks, have it do your G GPS navigation. Uh, you know, if you want to do a conference call, I don't recommend it. But a lot of people are working everywhere these days, so that's another option. So, again, uh, super cool setup. Uh, I am definitely a fan. I like this setup. Um, it's better than like a little clip in the in the air vent, kind of like the Alexa Auto here, as you can see, she just keyed up. But um, uh, definitely recommend it, guys. So check out the um, quad lock lineup. Uh, I'll have links in the show notes below, uh, where you can definitely um, purchase them, read more about them. Check out what other options that they have when it comes to phone support. And uh, there's a couple other accessories too. So check them out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the show. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and have a good one.